Uh, hi everybody. <laughs> I'm at the park again and every major um, American um, federal holiday they always put this out and I'll show you what it is. I'm going to turn the camera around and then we're going to be doing a little walk-in right now. Okay. <laughs> I was just glancing in the Bible today and right now you're just going to walk with me. And right now uh, the wind is lifted up because it's uh, in the 90s. It's really hot I'm in Texas, United States of America. So, now I was just glancing in the Bible today and it's in Proverbs 29, verse 2. And it just says that when the righteous rule a nation, the people rejoice. But when the wicked rules, we the people And right now, from the things I've been watching and seeing, we as a nation are literally mourning. And right now, we are mourning. In the name of Jesus, we are mourning. <laughs> and today, I'm just... I just have really have had this upon my heart, and I wanted to sing this, and yes, Lord, we are mourning because of the tyranny in this nation today, and at the moment, God... <laughs> I thank you, God, that where the where the hope where you are, Lord, where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom in you today, God. There is freedom in you. But right now, God. The righteous of this land forgive us all for allowing this tyranny to come into this land to take over America God forgive us Lord forgive us for what we have allowed God and right now, Lord, I am not in agreement with giving up my civil liberties. Because, Lord, I am first a citizen of heaven. But you sent me here for such a time as this. To lift up your name in Commerce, Texas, United States of America. And I, Sheridan Ann Gay, am not in agreement with the current American government that was installed by Satan. I am not in, in the current agreement. But Lord, you allowed this to happen to America because of because of us because of pride because of our selfish ways God because right now in this nation God 
We are wanting you back. And we are wanting Cyrus Isaiah 45. We are wanting him and we are wanting you. But Lord, forgive us for how we leaned on Cyrus for our freedom for our freedoms and not on you, Lord. And right now, Lord, I'm in my town at this very moment at two o'clock in the afternoon calling out to you today God and even though I am one one puts a thousand to flight and two chase ten thousand God and right now God even in Texas the state that I live Lord even tyranny is trying to slip in here God I am not in agreement with the tyranny that it has came into Texas in the cities of El Paso and some parts of the Dallas and of the Fort Worth and of the Metroplex in that area God. and Lord forgive us for what we have allowed but I'm asking you, God, to remove this tyranny, God, as I lift up Texas to you, God. I thank you, God, for how you, through a miracle, has saved the lives of many babies by the by a law that was passed that a woman cannot basically abort her child if it's six weeks old you have saved many lives God but Lord forgive us for the blood of the innocent of the babies that was shed in Texas and in the different states of the United States of America and across this world, God. And Lord, for the blood of the military of Afghanistan and of all of the foreign wars of Vietnam, Korea, the Gulf War and all other wars even going all the way back to World War I. Forgive us in the nations going all the way back even to the Boer Wars and all the way back. Forgive America. Forgive the United Kingdom. Forgive the nations in Europe Forgive us for all of the innocent bloodshed in sacrifice to other gods of the little G, which are really demons. Forgive us, Lord. Forgive us, God. And right now, your word says that if we seek your face as we humble ourselves, Lord, you will forgive our sins and heal our land. And right now, today, I'm asking you, God, to forgive the sins of America and Lord to heal our land and to heal the land of the United Kingdom and to heal the land of the nations of Europe and all of the nations that have shed innocent blood God heal our land and 
forgive us for what we have done, God. And I know that I can't repent for anyone's personal sin. But I can ask for your mercy upon this land of America and upon the state that I'm living in right now in Texas, God. Don't let tyranny rule America, God. Don't let tyranny rule America. Lord, I'm calling forth and I'm praying for your righteousness back into this land, God. Through people to get elected and to call forth the people that have a calling to run for their local offices, their state offices, all the way up to the federal government, God. I'm calling for your righteousness and let not the enemy steal the votes of the people, God. Lord, I am not in agreement with what the enemy has done in 2020. I am not in agreement and I do not want this regime in this land but Lord I also don't want a civil war God I want you to help us and to strengthen us Lord And Lord, I ask you, God, to keep your angels of the highest caliber around Mr. T, Isaiah 45, your chosen president, God. But the most important thing I want for Mr. T is for him to get to know you as his personal Lord and Savior in an intimate relationship with you, God. Because it's one thing to love your country and to love America. But Lord, he's not coming back until you release him to come back, God. But Lord, I am asking you, God, to save his family and to save their souls, God. For the ones that don't know you, God shake his family shake his sons and his daughters right now that you Jesus Christ Yeshua HaMashiach you are the real Messiah broken down that you are their Savior their deliverer you are their Messiah that they have been waiting for Lord and that's what I decree and declare for this land. But let not tyranny continue and get tyranny out of this land of the United States of America and of Australia, Canada, and in the nations and even in the United Kingdom and in the nations of Earth. In the mighty name and blood of Jesus, amen and amen. I just felt led of the Lord to <clears throat> just pray right now. There's really nobody here today.
<laughs> but I just, <laughs> I wanted just to come and pray because that's my calling. And I'm going to say something right now. And I've been praying about something. And right now, I've been hearing this from people. And I'm not going to disagree with it. But I'm going to say it this way. You know, it's one thing to pray. And yes, it's another thing to get up and take action and to fight. The one thing I'm going to say today is that I'm praying about something right now. But at this very moment, I personally do not feel led of the Lord for me to run for any type of office. Because I just, I haven't felt it. And there are people that have that type of calling to run for their state and local elections right now in whatever country you live. I know in America, there's a schedule. And in Texas that I live, um, I think it's the next year, but we're going to be running <clears throat> this is our state and local elections in 2022 in America. And right now, what I'm really praying for, honestly, is that these elections are going to be fair and they're not going to be stolen. Um, we all know what happened with 2020. I won't go into that one. And, uh, I don't know if YouTube's going to take this video down like they did last Friday. But, the point being, is that there are people that are called to run for office. And those are the ones that I'm praying for. Those are the ones that I'm praying that the enemy is not going to steal anything else and to let the righteousness of God rule in a city in a state and in a country and I do say it this way that I cultivate my relationship with God and when I say cultivate, I, number one, don't take for granted who God is to me. Yes, God is my Father, but first, He's my Creator. I don't take for granted that if He wanted to, He could destroy me, okay? And I'm just talking right now because I've got a lot on my heart, and I just want to say it. Right now... Our country is in dire need of a miracle from a hand of God. And there is a song that I love by Lee Greenwood, and I really don't have any music to play it, and I don't and I'd probably get in trouble for a copyright violation if I did. But the song goes like this. I'm proud to be an American where at least I know I'm free <laughs> and I won't forget the men who died who gave that right to me and I gladly stand up next to you and defend her still today <laughs> cause there ain't no doubt I love this land 
God bless the USA. Mm. That's the one line that really gets to me that I will not forget God. I will not forget Jesus Christ who went to the cross and shed his blood for me. Then I am not going to forget anybody <laughs> that has given them their lives so that I could be free. But right now, I am calling upon God in however he chooses to let us <coughs> keep our freedoms in the nations of earth right now. And you know, I'm going to make a conf startling confession to you. I used to not love America, but let me redefine this. I used to think that there was something wrong with my country because of the of the different um, administrations that America has had. Let me reinstate this, and I'm going to repent for this because I did not know. And Lord, forgive me for not loving America and taking my freedoms for granted. It's not America's fault that we have had and still have an evil administration, a regime. I love America. I love the people of America. And I love what this country stands for. Four. And when I say I'm proud to be an American, I am proud to be an American. But I am living in a country that if I disagree with somebody politically and we don't agree on different things, we can disagree. <laughs> But we can agree to love each other even if we have different views. That's what this country is about. It's not about whether you're Republican, Democrat, or whatever. It's about the freedom that we have that America honors because it's our God given freedom in America. This is why so many people want to come to America. This is why so many people that have lived in Cuba for many, many years and other nations that have been under evil regimes want to come to America because they can live the American dream and have a normal life and not have to worry about some police officer under a dictatorship coming in in the middle of the night <clears throat> killing you or shooting you for the views that you have. But right now we are on the brink of losing our very freedoms. And right now, this has just been on my heart, and that's why I'm speaking this today. And yes, I do agree that if you are called to run for a particular office wherever you live in the nations of the world, even in America, and down at your state and local election, even if it's dog catcher, get up and do it. But there are those of us like me right now, unless God says, run. It's my job as a watchman for the territory that I live in the country that I live 
to call forth those people. And right now, that's what I'm doing. But we need to pray for God's hand to be in these elections. And that he's not going to let the enemy tamper with anything. And I'll say it like that. So, right now, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Um, I am got a three-day weekend off. And I'll be off on Labor Day in America. And um, I wanted to say something quickly. Now, let me turn the camera on. <laughs> and what you see right here. It's just a clear ground in the natural. Okay. But when I look through the eyes of my spirit, even if you cannot see the angels, because they are in another dimension, <coughs> they're around me. They're around all over the place. And I'm well aware that this is the, we're in the dimension of the natural. And I am well aware that some people say there's nothing here. <clears throat> but when I get my mind and my eyes off of the natural, I can literally see in the sky <clears throat> Antonio, the warrior angel <clears throat> that covers and protects me, smiling at me. And then I see the others. So what I'm saying about that is that this past Monday, I was downtown praying. And I was <coughs> showing everybody where I was seeing the angels, okay? And we do have angels among us. And you don't have to see them to know that they're there. Sometimes you can feel them and you can feel like, a, for me... <laughs> when I don't see them, I literally feel feel a hedge, okay, of a hedge around me, a hedge of protection. So I wanted to get that cleared up. So I'm going to go ahead and let you go. And for those of you living in America, happy Labor, happy Labor Day. But either way, enjoy your weekend, and God bless you. Bye-bye.